y'all. This is Kelly from Fine Art. Hi, Kelly Renee. This is my first video, so if I stutter like I just did, it's because I'm nervous. Please bear with me. <laughs> um, tonight, for the sake of time, and since I don't know what I'm doing, I've already mixed my paints together. I'm going to do a paint pour, and I'm going to do double slate, probably. So, as I said, I've mixed my paints together. I'm using gold, and I mixed with yellow. And I'm doing regular red, and I mixed a little bit of cranberry paint with it to darken it up a little bit. And I'm using orange and white, and then I'm going to swipe with black. And all my paints are Apple Barrel, um, Folk Art. You can use different paints. You don't have to use the expensive kind. Just use whatever you can get your hands on or whatever you have at your house. And I'm going to put silicone in my paint now. I'm going to put three in one silicone. And I'm also going to put the, I don't know if you can see this, coconut, coconut oil. It's hair serum. You can get it at Walmart or Walgreens or anywhere, basically. And I've mixed my paints up. With Floetrol, I'm sure you've heard of it. Flow Floetrol, it helps to make the paint work better when you put when you put it on the canvas. And I've mixed it with water as well, a little bit of water. You want your consistency it's kind of be like that. And usually when I mix my paints. I'll let them sit for about 30 minutes just to get some of the air bubbles out. And sometimes I thicken up a little bit when I do that, so I'm doing a little quick stir. Okay, so I'm going to add silicone. And some people get real anal about this. I don't. I just put a few drops in. So I'm going to put three of the silicone. One, two, three. Three. Sometimes it squirts out fast like it just did. You might do a little more. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to put a couple squirts of the coconut oil in. One, two. One, two. I'm going to put a little squirt in the black and in the white as well. Some people don't, but I do. It's just a matter of figuring out what works for you and what you like to do. There are no rules. I'm going to stir, stir up the silicone just a little bit. Orange. Actually, it feels like it thickened a little bit, but I think it's okay. So, here we go. First, I'm going to pour yellow gold. Hopefully, this turns out good. We'll see. I'm trying to make a painting with fall colors is my, what I'm going for. Never know how it's going to work out. And yes, these are puppy pads here. They're great for catching paint, and since my puppy refuses to use them, I use them to pour paint them. They're great because you can just throw them away. So I'm doing the yellow gold, and the red. Get a little bit more red. 
and orange. I hope you guys can see this video. This is the first time I've ever done one. I'm having to use my laptop, so hopefully you can see it. If not, I uh, will learn. It's a learning process. I've been doing art for years, but I've never tried to sell it. I definitely have never tried to go on the line with it. And it's a big learning, learning curve doing all this videos and the online stuff, so please bear with me. Hopefully it turns out well. Okay, so now I'm going to put the white on. I try to go all the way down the sides if I can because sometimes the sides don't want to cover as well. Okay, and you can stretch it a bit if you want to. I'm doing a swipe because they're actually faster than doing a flip cup and all the rest of them. And on the basis of I don't know what I'm doing here with this video, I don't want to work on a painting for an hour and bore you guys to death. Now I'm pouring the black. Well, we've been doing pours for just a few months now. And swipes are not my specialty. So I'm going to practice and y'all get to be my guinea pigs and watch. Okay. So I've dampened a paper towel and you want to make sure the paper towel is long enough to cover your canvas. And you just kind of gently lay it down. Hold it over so it's a little easier to handle and see what I'm doing. I'm trying to watch the camera, it's a little far. So I'm going to make sure that getting soaked in, the black soaked in, and you just want to slowly, slowly and easily pull it down straight again. It's always been my problem, I didn't do it slowly enough, so I'm trying to work on just trying to do it to the best. I'm working on patience. And when you get to this end, just kind of let it slide down. Hopefully you'll get your edges. Yeah. So far, so good. And pink pores are a mess. Sorry. Yeah. Paper towel wipe my hands with. A lot of people wear gloves to do these. I don't. I just don't care to wear gloves. This way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not doing this very organized, but. I'll get there. Now I'm going to torch it. That's to get the air bubbles out and it also helps to create new cells. I mean the colors are coming through pretty good. What I was hoping for. You want to keep your Torch moving because if you don't, it will burn your paint. You know, I'm getting some really cool cells. That's what I like about using the three in one silicone and the coconut oil because I like getting big cells and small cells. Some people don't like getting both, I do. 
It's just your preference and what you like. So I'm going to stretch it a little bit. Don't want to stretch it too much because you'll lose, lose the goodness that you have. Now I'm going to try to cover my side. I kind of want it to cover your sides too because that's part of what's so cool about these tank cores. If you're using, you can use a popsicle stick. I use this thing that um, I got it. it's a face mask applicator that I don't use. Pretty good for doing the edges of your canvas. But you want to make sure that you wipe it off as you go. And I've got some. So it's over here that didn't get covered. I'm just going to gently use my runoff paint. Try to cover them up. Also, I got a little bit of the canvas showing there. And you can kind of roll it down. Sorry if I quit talking, I'm trying to concentrate. Can't often chew them at the same time. Really, actually liking this one. And I see on a lot of these paint pour groups where people that have just started doing these paintings ask if you can paint over a bad painting. Well, yes, you definitely can. Well, I have done it quite a few times. But I don't really see anybody put a video out about it, so I think that that's what my next video is going to be. Here. in a couple days I'll put another one out and that way people can see that you can reuse canvases they're just too expensive I've had paintings that pours that I did and I'd already varnished them and even painted over them I'll do one sometime when people you know, my friends or family will say they love them, and I just decide that I don't like them so much. So you can do it both ways. If you're doing a painting and the paint's still wet, like right now, if I decide I don't want this, you can take paper towels and just wipe all the paint off while it's still wet. And we'll just paint right back over it. But if you've already painted it and it's dried and you haven't varnished it, you can basically put a top coat over black or white and just paint on top. I've even not even put a top coat on, just painted on top of the bed painting. So it's just trial and error. and error and experimenting you know if something doesn't work then it's just paint and canvas I'm trying to decide if I'm going to double swipe this because it's really kind of pretty the way it is my original plan was to Oh, 
swipe it in the black and then swipe it back up in the white. Hmm. What to do, what to do? And you can touch up places on top. If you see canvas coming through, which sometimes you will. You can gesso these canvases. Get better coverage. They're actually they're supposed to be gessoed already. Depending on where you get them. Michael's canvases are usually pretty good. But if you get them from Walmart or, you know, cheaper brand, they're fine canvases, but sometimes I just don't think they're gessoed as well, so sometimes you can see the canvas, but Sometimes you can see through on the canvas with Michael's canvases too, so it's just, you can touch them up, so it's no big deal. I'm just touching up, where is the canvas coming through? I also sometimes will paint my canvas black before I do a pour. You know, you're using black, you can paint it black or whatever color. I painted them red, yellow, whatever color I'm going to have in my color scheme. I think. I might still do the white swipe. Uh, um, probably not gonna be. I don't know if you can see. Let me... Sorry, I'm having to do this with a computer. I have a cell phone, but I don't really know how to set it where you can see everything. You see all the cells that I got? Red and yellow. Really pretty, but hmm. uh, I'm going to do a little white swipe. Probably should. Probably gonna regret it. Sometimes when you do paint pours, you want to keep messing with them, and you end up messing them up. You never sure just left it alone, but well, that's the way it goes. Okay, cross fingers. Hope I don't screw it up here. Okay. Yeah, you know. I'm going to tilt it a Side, and you put paint on my finger. Not good. All right, let's torch it. See what happens. Another one. Another great thing about the coconut oil is if you're stretching your canvas and you lose a lot of the cool cells that you have to begin with, which happens quite often, 
You can just keep getting more and more sales when you use the coconut oil. They will just keep coming. You will just get more and more. Tilt it a little bit more. Trying to get these ends down here a little bit. Okay, let me check my sides again. Sometimes the tops where it goes over the edges turns the canvas so kind of show through there. So I'm going to try to get it covered up as you can. I have been invited to bring my art to a Christmas art show here locally where I live, which I haven't done any art shows yet. I'm new to all this, so I'm going to do it, and I'm going to be making some Christmas ornaments here pretty soon. So I think I'm going to do videos of me experimenting. I haven't done paint pours on Christmas balls and I'm going to do some candle, little candles and some other things I think. So I'm going to do videos on those too. Okay. Think. Touch up here. I think I'm about done with this, which uh, which went faster than it usually does. <laughs> I'm gonna torch it one more time. And after it dries, I will put a coat of gloss varnish on it. Pretty soon I'm going to start using the resin people are using, which is beautiful. I just haven't gotten this far yet. So that will be the next adventure, this paint for addiction. <laughs> you want to see my other artwork and um, I have products, I have t-shirts and cell phone covers and all kinds of cool stuff. I have the links that will be down underneath my description. Please feel free to click on them. I have a Facebook page with my artwork and I'm just getting that up and running. I'm going to be doing some cool stuff on there. I have an Etsy store, you know, all the regular stuff that everybody's got. Please feel free to click on, see what I have. And please do comment 
and subscribe to me. I'm sorry, I know this is a rough one. Hope you could see it. <laughs> Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And again, here is the painting. And on my next video, I'll show you how it turned out after it dries. So thanks for stopping by, and please, again, remember to like and subscribe, and please don't leave me any nasty comments if it sucked. Thanks again. See you soon.